there must be someone that he cannot. Right. And the difference is how you react to the roar. Come on. <laughs> when situations or people roar at you and you respond in terror or fear and you forget who you are and mm -hmm. you forget whose you are yeah. and you forget that God gave you and forget where God brought you from, That's right. then you become a nice little treat. Yes, indeed. <laughs> but if you remember, come on. That I am who God says I am. Yeah, right. Remember that I'm more than a conqueror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If God says He's before me more than this world is, yeah, yeah. if you remember that you're already walking in victory, Come on. Yeah. then you can stand boldly yeah. at the face of the roar. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not naive enough to say that there aren't some things that concern me, but there's a difference between being concerned and being fearful. Yes. Right. See, fear binds you where you're unmovable and you yes. can't move. You can't think well when you're afraid. You can't sing well when you're afraid. You can't speak well when you're afraid. And, and you have a fear or a phobia where no one has to tell you to stay in the house. Your fear traps you uh -huh. in there yourself. Yes. Yes. You create your own prison uh -huh. and lock your own self up. That's right. See, the enemy loves for you to be afraid. The enemy likes an audience, so he loves when things happen and, 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 and he can put on a show. That's why he always want people talking about it and, and have people running to tell other people about the foolishness of the enemy. He, he wants it to get around so he can spread the message of fear. Every one of you have got to make a decision whether you're going to live your life by fear or whether you're going to live it by faith. Because the devil thrives off of fear, yes, just yes. like God moves off of faith. Amen. Amen. Say it out loud. I will fear no evil. I will fear no evil. You almost there. Shout it. I will fear no evil. I will fear no evil. See, there's power in the word of God, but yes. only if you make yes. it personal yes. to you. Yes. You can't talk about how your mama feared no evil. You can't talk yes. about how your father feared no evil. You can't talk about how your neighbors fear no evil right. or how the mothers fear no evil. Right. You got to know it for yourself way down deep on the inside. Because you have to face the day life and, and speak in your mind, body, and soul. Yeah. Yeah. I will fear no evil. Right. Yeah. I refuse to worry myself to death, wondering about what people think about me. Worried about if I'm going to die of cancer. Worried about if I'm going to die from what my father had. Or whenever the devil tries to distract me, the foolishness, I'll tell you what you ought to do. Yes. You ought to remember Psalms 23. Okay. Yeah. You ought to remember that the Lord is my shepherd. Yeah. You ought to remember simple things like I will fear no evil. Yeah. You ought to remember simple things like I'm walking through yeah. the valley, but I'm coming out on the other side. Yeah. You ought to remember simple things like he's already given me green yeah. passion. Yeah. You ought to be able to ask Pastor Owen and say, slide that file cap the history out and look and say, look where he brought me from. Yeah. 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 something in you. <laughs> because, because God calls the end from the beginning. Yeah. You're walking through the valley in victory. Yeah. God has already factored in what the enemy is going to do when he releases your purpose to you. Yeah. See, James chapter 1 says, count it all joy yeah. when you fall into different trials and you should know that all it's doing is growing your faith yeah. and activating your patience. Yes. Nothing Satan does catches God by surprise. When God stands in eternity, when God said in eternity, prepare me a body that I can go down and redeem all mankind, he already factored in what the enemy was going to do. Mm -hmm. So when, he, when they put Jesus on the cross, it was necessary. Mm -hmm. Because then it released the Holy Spirit. Okay. <laughs> and then it released the Holy Spirit to take up residence in me. And in you, those of you that have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Yeah. Now, the only thing that the enemy is doing when he attacks you is releasing your power. Mm -hmm. God didn't give you the spirit of fear, but of power, 
of love and of sound mind. Yeah. Yeah. Say it with me one more time. I, I will, will fear, fear no evil. evil. Say it like you mean it. I, I will, will fear, fear no evil. evil. I want to go on to tell you the next verses, but for the sake of time, he said, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Yeah. He said, When God prepares a table, your enemies of despair is there, depression is there, gossip is there, ruined reputations are all present, and yeah. they're sitting at the table. Yeah. But guess who's at the head of the table? Yeah. 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 Come. 